Hello. Oh, I didn't change my shit. I didn't change any of the stream details. Oops, hold on. I'm not prepared. Getting a scrap yarn blanket. Makers and crafting. Save. There we go. That's better. I am not playing Minecraft today. Come watch me knit a thing. Probably text my mom, make sure she knows I'm live. if she was watching and she said almost I'll take it all right I'll post it on the discords <laughs> I don't know anything about Minecraft I'm not playing Minecraft I forgot to update the thing when I started streaming I'm actually knitting so Hi, Mom. Is it showing the title right now, though? The notification probably got sent out wrong, but... Yeah, so I'm working on this blanket. It's just a bunch of scrap yarn, but it's in um, what's called seed stitch, which is like super textured-y and a lot of fun to do. How are you doing today? Gotta get comfy. I realize I'm starting on a very boring color because it's just brown. That's okay. It's right after a very, very vivid rainbowy. <laughs> uh, notification said, uh, Festival is live. Do you want to come hang out? Um, yeah, Twitch probably had it wrong for a while. Hopefully that'll update. I slept in this morning, and so I woke up at like 11 and ate lunch, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I was gonna stream today. And I, I just, I forgot to do the thing where I, I change what I'm actually doing. <laughs> I always forget that I feel like I'm knitting while being watched because I am, and so I'm like, not as good. <laughs> it doesn't help that this isn't a normal thing that I knit either. The needles are slightly bigger. Um, the stitch I do a lot, but the needles being bigger just by the tiniest bit just throws me off completely. It's also just so like, big. It's just here and large. Whereas most of my stuff I can just like hold the entirety of while I'm knitting it. These are different needles too. Um, these are the all, the, these are the kind of needles I used to use for everything. They're like wood. Um, 
but the ones that I used a lot for like my ha cat hats and paw gloves and stuff, they would get worn down and like the smooth coating would come off. So then they were really hard to knit with. Um, so I've upgraded the needles that I use for our actual products to be like metal nickel needles. And those work so much better. And I can knit a lot faster with them too. But for this, these are fine. These haven't been worn down like some of my other ones. My hair getting in my face. It's probably cat hair. Cat hair in the face is inescapable. That is so true. At least the fact that I wear a lot of black works out pretty well with having a black cat. I don't know how you, oh, sorry. I keep forgetting this mic's here. I don't know how you do it with a white cat that I would, you would just see it constantly everywhere, which I mean, I guess that doesn't really bother me all that much, so. Got so much mellow and near floof <laughs> stuck to the desk mats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got this huge pink um, mouse pad for my desk. It's like very big. It like covers my whole space and it's, it's very nice. It does have cat hair on it though. <laughs> the music stop or is it just? It's just quiet switch there we go usually pastel so it's only noticeable near is too clingy yeah I do like that when I'm doing knitting streams, I can keep OBS open on my monitor because I only have one monitor. Um, normally if I'm playing games, I will... Uh-oh, I'm messing up. Oh, I think I messed up a long time ago. Whatever, you won't notice it. Um, oh, hi, Sarah. Uh, Brown Cat's hair shows up on everything. Oh, yeah, that's too bad, I'm sorry. It's just an accessory though. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying already. Oh yeah, OBS open. Um, I can keep OBS open when I'm knitting because I am not playing the game on that monitor, and so it's like weird looking like somewhere different, but it's it's bigger, so it's easier to read than on my on my iPad, which is kind of nice. Easier to chat. Also, I started this blanket like probably a year ago, probably more than a year ago, definitely more than a year ago, but there's this stitch marker in it and I don't know what the stitch marker is trying to say because it's just the same stitch over and over and over again. I don't know if it's the middle point. It's, it's not the middle point. So I have no idea what the stitch marker means, but I'm too scared to remove it. Hi, Fanny. How are you doing? Keep Twitch Studio open on my canvas. Um, game from my other monitor, but also keep chat open on my phone because I'm weird. No, yeah, it's it's nice to have chat in multiple places to be able to, to see it. I'm so looking forward to maybe getting a second monitor eventually, especially now that I have a bigger desk and hopefully I'll be able to like get some, like a dual arm mount thing to be able to mount them up. That'd be so nice. Just gonna lurk till you get ready for work. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. I very, very much appreciate it. And I feel like it's been so long since we've uh, we've talked because I stopped streaming and then I also kind of just dropped off the face of the planet for a while there. Just doing my own thing, just trying to vibe. <laughs> it's been a crazy year. 
Ryan's got a dual mount he's not using, so probably gonna invest in a second monitor as soon as Yeah, that's there's that seems so nice. My fiance has a um, a monitor that he has mounted. Uh, it's vertical, which I think is super cool. I don't know if I would do it because it would, like aesthetically it it doesn't look the best and for some reason i would like prefer prefer like the symmetry of like two identical monitors um but it's really nice for like it would be nice for like chats and stuff twitch side of your desk is always so cluttered <laughs> yeah i'm so lucky that we've i've got my own office now and i was able to buy two nice desks and everything it's nice before i just had like one little tiny desk that was just like only this wide and so like Everything right here in front of me would be where I'd have to put like just all of my knitting stuff. But now I've got like a whole L shape next to me over here that I can like set things on when I'm not using it. Uh, Vanny, uh, yeah, I've been getting things sorted out with college and personal life and stuff. Yeah, getting back into the swing of things is very, very much a mood. That's exactly what I've been trying to do. And I, here I am streaming for the second day in a row. I've literally never done that before, so. I don't think I've ever even streamed twice in a week before. Some of my coworkers um, would function with one or both monitors vertical. <laughs> D both is crazy. I can't even imagine having both being vertical. It'd be so weird to have like the taskbar so short. Yeah, so the fun thing about this blanket is that I was very smart the last time I was working on it. And um, I gathered all of my scrap yarns in advance and I caked them into one ball. <laughs> so my cake's already ready to go with all my random colors. So we've got, we've got some fun colors that are gonna come eventually. It looks like we've got a sparkly white after the brown. So that'll be fun. God bless past Becca for making current life Becca's life easier. It doesn't always work out that way. It's always such a pain to like go back with this too, because it's like, okay, time to pick up the whole thing. I'm used to working like in the round, so usually I'm just like, knit, knit, knit. I'm really not good at making big things like this, but that's why I thought it'd be the perfect thing to do on stream, because it's like, well, now I have to work on it. And I'm not exactly going very hard on uh, products right now. There's a lot of like, administrative choices and stuff that I need to to figure out. We're changing some of our like yarn color palettes and stuff. And so it's like, I don't, it's hard to, with cons being who knows what, it's just like, everything's gonna get a little bit of a revamp. So until then it's kind of just mostly on pause. Yeah, definitely a mood. I hope cons can get back to normal. I know everyone's doing Anime Iowa and I'm just, I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready. I, I'm gonna have to pass and it makes me really sad, but it just means next year will be even better. Is so that with it on your lap? Um, It's actually fine. Our AC is thankfully working. It's. I don't know if it's the same in your place, but it's supposed to get like 101 today. Uh, whatever my next convention is, I'm gonna clearance the crap out of existing stock so I can start fresh. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's very much relatable. I don't know if I'm gonna like clearance off things, but I'm, so the thing is we don't have too much made. Like I, I think if we went to a convention or two, we could get easily get rid of a lot of what we have in stock right now. And since we're only really changing the colors and not really the items, I think it's gonna be fine. Um, but then once we switch entirely to the new color palette, I'll be able to use the old stuff to make like random fun, unique things. And that's always a lot of fun. 
just like, here's a random rainbow chaotic hat. <laughs> That I'll never make again ever because I'm out of this yarn now and never buy more. <laughs> so excited for Consumotive Amy to dress super cute again. Yeah, man, I, I've been doing a couple things with friends and like the second I get to like, oh, I know what happened is I would, my mom and I and my fiance, we were all going to like go meet up at a restaurant because like we're all vaccinated and it's like, I'm not like completely terrified of going out anymore. And I, I dressed, it was like a Tuesday night and we went to a restaurant. I'm like, I'm going to dress up really cute. And I dressed up way too cute for no reason other than the fact that I'm desperate to, to dress up again. But yeah, cons, I'm, I'm so ready for like, because cons are a totally different, different level of clothing outfit choices. And I'm so mad because I really just started getting into like the goth emo alternative stuff right before um NakaCon was supposed to happen and I had so many cute things planned out and then it got canceled and everything went to hell and but it's okay there will be times This cute. This shirt's cute, though. It's my Evan and Caitlin shirt. Which I realize my hair is now so long that it covers. Which maybe that means I need a haircut. But so many new things for knock and was devastated when it was canceled. Yeah, I remember. I was literally. It was. It was Thursday night, I think, and we were about to leave the next day, and I was laying on the couch needing i was like we need to pack for naka but i'm afraid it's gonna get canceled so i just remember laying on the couch scrolling through social media saying of people like is it gonna get canceled is it not gonna get canceled oh my artist alley booth's already set up and i'm like and then i just they got canceled and i just start laid on the couch crying <laughs> fabric to make faux um over the knee stockings you stop being learn lazy and learn your machine Ooh, that sounds so cool is that like for a cosplay or anything or is it just for just for fun, because that sounds so good. Okay, I definitely don't have my stitches right at some point. Pearl knit pearl. I'm just, whatever. You're never going to notice. Just for fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I've got like five stitches here that are just messed up. And I, I feel like I'm too lazy to fix it. Also because it's not going to be that noticeable in the grand scheme of things. We're going to ignore it. <laughs> uh, when the thighs are too thick <laughs> to keep over the knees up uh, on their own, you do your own. Yeah. For some reason, you said faux over the knee stockings. For some reason, I thought faux fur. I thought you were going to make like fuzzy fuzzy thigh highs or something i i understand what you're saying though because yeah that's really i i've always tried to do that too because i i can't wear thigh highs either but yeah i've, I've seen the yeah, yeah yeah i've seen the i've seen the fake ones those look so cool that'd be so good i am now thinking about fuzzy thigh highs though which could be a look it'd be very warm though Try to figure out when I messed up. It doesn't matter. <laughs> like thighs are a struggle with thigh highs. Yeah. I'm glad we can all relate. Make your own fuzzy thigh highs with that eyelash yarn. Don't even get me started on socks. I've got a pair of socks in this box right here that I have not finished. Um, they're supposed to be, oh, I've got two pairs of socks in here that I have not finished. I've got a pair for my mom here that are about halfway done with the foot. And then I've got a pair for my fiance here that are also a little bit less halfway done with the foot. And I'm never gonna finish them. Cause look at, look at how tiny these needles are. Here, let me show you what I'm working with right now. These are the needles I have right now. These are the sock needles. It's like, they're tiny and it's so many stitches and I, mm, 
Eyelash yarn is soot sprite texture. Ooh, I think I've seen that. That's, I'm, I'm usually not one to knit with weird stuff, but that does seem really cool. Yes, those are yours, mom. Sorry, I'm never gonna finish them. I knit, I knit one pair of socks for myself and they're very cute and they're Halloween themed and I love them. And I was like, oh, I'll make some for my mom and my fiance because those are the two people I love most in my life. And, and nope, couldn't do it, couldn't finish it. I think about three hours is my limit. Um, if any project takes more than three hours, it's not gonna get done very fast. <laughs> That's okay, thank you. I, I do still have the cardboard cut out of your foot. <laughs> Cause that's, that's a method for um, making sure knit socks fit right, is to cut out a cardboard shape of your foot and then you like put the sock on it as you go to see when to start the heel and stuff. And so I just, I have cardboard cutouts of, of my foot, my mom's foot and my fiance's foot. It's a little weird, but it, it's fine. <laughs> it's for a good purpose. I wish I had the patience for longer projects. Maybe if I stream more, I can I can use streaming as an excuse to chip away at, at huge things like I'm doing right now with this blanket. I just love the stitch that I'm using for this blanket. Um, if anyone knows any even like a little bit about knitting, there's two types of stitches, knit stitches and purl stitches. And this is basically like just alternating back and forth, which I used to be really bad at alternating back and forth between knits and purls until I learned how to knit with the yarn in this hand versus having the yarn in this hand. So now every time I get to do it, I get really excited. Uh, got back into, need to get back into streaming art. Yeah, you do. Um, Want to drop more lately? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's kind of a good excuse to get things done, but it's also gets, you get very distracted. And hi, Mooney, how are you doing? I'm glad to see you here. We got another row done. It's a weird, awkward, kind of ugly brown stripe in it. Actually, the brown doesn't look too bad with this, this colorful bit, and it looks really good with the light blue behind it too. Yeah, I think it's really fun so far. Um, do be like that. Um, uh, switch stuff came early, so you can start turning the switch. Nice. That's really exciting. I'm good. I'm just vibing. I slept in today and it's gonna be like 101 degrees, so I'm not gonna go outside. Not even gonna think about it. A couple chibi commissions I've been sitting on forever. Um, they're for friends, so legit don't care um, as long as I get done eventually, yeah. Thank goodness for friends that are willing to put up with any terms that you set for things. <laughs> Mooney, what are you gonna play on Switch first? Are you gonna play Animal Crossing? If I ever get a um, capture card, I'm gonna play Animal Crossing. I'm gonna load it up for the first time in probably years at that point. And Cody is gonna kick my ass and I'm gonna do it live on stream. But I'm not gonna play Animal Crossing again until I can stream it. That's, that's the terms I've set for myself. Not gonna lie, debating, sweating profusely, and oculusing some Beat Saber. Ooh, on the back patio after work. That sounds kind of like hell, but also a lot of fun. I mean, if you're gonna be doing physical activity that makes you sweat anyway, kind of balances it out, right? the Miku game demo right now. Um, just got Animal Crossing and Pokemon Snap. So decisions, decisions. Ooh, yes. I was going to get Pokemon Snap and I, I have not. I'm just, I don't know. I haven't really been playing a lot of games all that much. I haven't really been itching for a new game, if that makes sense. There's just been so much happening with buying a house <laughs> and trying to live in a society <laughs> just in general. Pearl knit, pearl knit, pearl. Oh, I found out where I messed up. Or maybe this was just a new mess up, but we're fixing it. 
I'm glad this blanket is probably at least gonna be very forgiving. It, it won't be that noticeable where I've messed up horribly and repeatedly. I also need to cut my bangs, geez. Getting in the way. Stick them under my headphones. There we go. Uh, I haven't really touched my Switch after I got No More Heroes 1 and 2 after months. Uh, you invested in your PS5. Yeah. Have you been playing Ratchet and Clank? Yeah. Oh, my mom's probably so jealous. Thank you for that link. I will uh, hit a price drop. Oh, geez. I'll have to look into that. I have so many other things that I need to invest in before getting a capture card though. <laughs> See, there's my mom, she's crying. I've been watching a um, a Let's Play of it because I it's not really the kind of game I play. Um, when I was growing up, I would watch my mom play all of the games. Um, so I'm kind of used to just watching it and I'm, I'm knitting wrong again. Oh no, it's fine. Um, See, so yeah, I've been watching a playthrough of it and it looks so good. <laughs> On a PS5 so bad, yeah. There's nothing really I'm super excited for about it. Um, I want, I just want my mom to get one so she can play Ratchet and Clank. Ooh, Final Fa I know nothing about Final Fantasy. I know my mom played a bit of it. All of my video game knowledge comes from my mom, basically. I've, I've either played it because of her or watched her play it growing up. Um, so yeah, she, she's played in Final Fantasy, but I've, I've never gotten into Final Fantasy. I've always just heard that like every other game is good and I don't know which ones I would even want to start with because I've heard they're all very different. I'm trying to speed run it? Oh my goodness. That sounds stressful. Isn't it hard to grasp on? Um, mainly most of the games are in their own universe. Okay, that's good. I guess I wasn't sure about that either, how much lore each one has. I've been itching to play Persona again, or maybe um, I've only played four and five, so I've been itching to maybe try three. That's what's been on my mind lately. Especially since I actually got into tarot cards. So I'm like, I, I need to I need to play Persona with my actual tarot knowledge now. I love Persona so much. I never finished five. I I finished five. I didn't finish it as much as I wanted to, if that makes sense. I got one ending and I was gonna go back and do something else and then I'm like, nah. Oh yeah, we love Persona here. I got my uh, my Chie and my Yukiko back there that Ziggy eats Yukiko of a lot. <laughs> She's surprisingly still in one piece. He doesn't touch Chie. He leaves Chie alone. <laughs> Very close to finishing Persona 4. Persona 5 is really good. Yeah, I really liked Persona 5. Um, Lakota's eyes. My profile <laughs> picture since Persona 5 vanilla launch. Have to part to wait until you get your e-bike paid for. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's recently gotten to biking, which is very different than video games, but also very much a money investment. <laughs> I feel kind of happy that I'm not super into console games all that much because now I'm not like desperate for a PS5 or anything because I, they're apparently they're hard to get, they're expensive and there's not really anything that I care to play on it right now. I'm excited for some of the new Nintendo stuff from the Nintendo Direct. Mostly um, the new Mario Party, um, 
WarioWare, co-op WarioWare, Monkey Ball. I love Monkey Ball. I didn't watch any other of E3 besides um, the Nintendo Direct. Was there anything good? Excited for Monkey Ball, Dang and Rob, and Metroid Mario. Yeah. Yeah, I keep hearing everyone say that Nintendo won. It was pretty good. I don't really care for Metroid or Dang and Rampa, but I know a lot of people are excited for those. Nintendo stuff was the highlight. Yeah, I kind of figured. Good chunk of indie games coming. Um, yeah, everything else is lame. Aw. Yeah, Microsoft is the other one that I heard was pretty okay. Honestly, this year I didn't pay attention, but in past years when I've watched like every E3 presentation, I'm just like, I'm bored. I don't I don't care about any of these things. I'm <laughs> thinking gonna throw it off. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too upset that I only watched the Nintendo Direct. Yeah, it really was nostalgic with WarioWare and everything. Like, geez. I know a lot of people are upset that there was no Animal Crossing news, but I don't know. I fell off the Animal Crossing train, so. I never even made it to Halloween, and I was like, oh man, I'm so excited for Halloween, I'm gonna get so many cute things, and then I I got burnt out by that point. Uh, the word of a bit was the most I've ever heard. Um, Charles Martin that speak in character in one sitting. Oh, I don't know who that is. Am I supposed, I'm probably supposed to know who that is, and I do not. <laughs> I look forward to the most besides Nintendo. Uh, Capcom. Oh, they didn't give anything new? That sucks. Oh, the voice of Mario Luigi. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because they had the, yeah, the Wario, the Wario bits. I was telling my fiance, um, he was working during the direct. Um, I was too, but I was watching it. Um, but he was working during the direct, so I was like messaging him all the little updates, and I was like, Wario! And he got really upset, except, upset that it was WarioWare and not like Wario Land or whatever. I don't even know what the other Wario game is. <laughs> I'm a fake gamer girl. I just don't know things that I haven't learned. I tried to get him excited about Wario War Co-op. But I think we'll play it, it'll, it'll be good. It'll be stressful. How much brown do I have left? Oh, we're almost switching to the white. Playing video games for like 90% of your life, so you know a little too much, yeah. I only ever pay attention Especially growing up to, like, the things that I actually played, if that makes sense. I was never, like, deep into, like, the community. I don't know. <laughs> Wallet isn't going to survive this October. Mario Party game, yeah. I got the other uh, Mario Party for the Switch, and we had a lot of fun with it. The rafting co-op of on the, the, Switch, the other Switch Mario Party game, though, was so stressful. Um, we played it with our friends one time, and one of our friends just wouldn't wouldn't row the raft correctly, and so we're like, why are we going the wrong way? And so we just kept screaming at him. Good times. Mario Party Superstar is soon thoroughly unleash. Uh, real mode aunt Kimmy to the nieces. Mario Party 1 through 3 were your jam. Yeah, I played a lot of Mario Party growing up. I'm excited for the nostalgia. Um, it's probably just going to be a lot of things that I don't remember that I remember. I was just like a little dork and I used to play Mario Party all by myself growing up. Just like against the CPU and I'm like, oh.
My mom and I did play the uh, the Switch Mario Party together with, and we did the mode where you like use both of your Switches like physically together to like play mini games. And that was the most stressful thing because we were like hitting our Switches against each other. I'm like, what? what is this? What is the point of this? It was so weird. Just like physically like hitting our Switches together. I'm like, this doesn't seem safe. And I'm so bummed about the Joy-Cons kind of being crap. We we haven't been able to get our, we haven't been able to get more than um, like two sets of Joy-Cons working together um, all at once. Like we were playing um, Mario Kart the other day and I had a set of two, my fiance had a set of two and my mom had a set of two and they like, it, they kept like disconnecting and they like wouldn't stay connected. Are we Switch friends? Um, maybe? Send me your friend code though, and I can make sure we are. I haven't played that much recently. All right, we got the sparkly white in here now. I can't really tell that it's sparkly. If I get really close. I can't really tell. <laughs> Just undock your switch. Uh, that's right by your monitor. Yeah, go ahead and message me your, your friend code and I'll make sure if we're not already. Not as cool as pause. Um, and Minnie has her own switch. Ooh, so you can technically have two islands. Nice. Is Minnie not gonna play play Animal Crossing? Or are you just gonna hijack the island? <laughs> When Animal Crossing first came out, um, I was really tempted to just like buy a Switch for myself to have my own island separate from my fiance, but it's fine, we made it work. <laughs> Probably gonna play, but you can help her. Yeah, there you go, that's awesome. I did, um, I had a lot of friends that, I, at least I had one friend and my mom that I helped them design their islands a little bit, so that was a lot of fun. And, like take a picture of the, the island on my iPad and then like use Procreate to like doodle where it's like move, you can move the, the shop here and you can move these houses here. And that was so much fun. There's hair in my blanket. What a surprise. Why are my bangs like this? Maybe I'll cut them this weekend. I really should. There's hair in my face now. Yeah, I'm really glad it's cool enough in here that I can actually knit a blanket on a 100 degree day. I'm actually pretty comfortable temperature wise, which is nice. This white sparkly yarn so pretty. The sparkly stuff's kind of annoying to work with though, because it's got like a like a string of like metallic in it, and it sometimes gets separated from the yarn and it like snaps and it's weird sometimes. We only use one of them um, for our actual products, and it's such a pretty color, but I wouldn't want to use it any more than wouldn't want to use it too much. Should do a Mario Party collab stream sometime? Hell yeah! 
take the time to learn OBS. Pretty sure we can put my capture card on, uh, on your stream and your webcam on mine and we can Discord for voice. Hell yeah. If you need any, any help learning OBS or anything, let me know. I'm not an expert, but I have used it. <laughs> I use uh, Stream Elements, which um, integrates pretty well with it. have a messed up stitch. Knitting mistakes used to be so stressful to fix because they're a little complicated, um, but I've just been knitting so much now that I, I'm very good at fixing mistakes. I'm just like, every time I fix them, I'm like, yeah. One of my YouTubers friends uses OBS. Uh, we're just waiting for our schedules to line up so they can come teach you basics, there you go. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm naturally pretty good at under learning programs like this. I don't know. I also just watched a lot of YouTube videos about it. I've heard so many bad things about like Streamlabs specifically that I'm like, oh, I can avoid that. I don't know anything. So I just figured I'd jump into the, the most basic of programs. And then I use Stream Elements for, um... oh, Streamlabs is paywall. Ooh, yeah, that sucks too. Um, Stream Elements has been pretty nice for doing my overlays and stuff. Like the whole chat feature and my bars and stuff are all just Stream Elements. Twitch Studio isn't bad, but it's very basic. Is that um, just like Twitch's version of OBS, I'm guessing? I've really never tried anything besides um, Besides OBS, so I don't really know the differences too much between them, the different ones. Yeah, it's a separate download. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you could get away with really basic things, and I, I don't do anything too complicated either. I actually just learned the other day how to that I can lock my my different overlays, which is good because my my webcam overlays and stuff just kept like wiggling slightly. I'm just like, this isn't in the right spot. I did order a new mouse. I was complaining yesterday when I was playing Minecraft, my um, my scroll wheel is like being really finicky and it's like it's like jumping around and like being weird. Um, but I ordered a new mouse, so hopefully that will make my life a lot better. Uh, one thing I wanna try and figure out is how to do donation notifications. Oh, linking PayPal. Yeah, I have um, my tips set up through stream elements, I think. So it's all just through that. Ziggy snack time. Bring Z bring on Ziggy. Okay, all right. I have no idea where he's at. I think he's downstairs. So I'm just gonna switch to be right back real quick, and I will I will bring him up here. Thank you, Mooney. He's here. I already got the treats out, so he he wants them. All right, this is from Mooney. I 
I like making him stand because it's cute. Want to stand? Want to face the camera? You gotta lick my hands for an hour now? You can have one more. Yeah, let me let me give you one more. You wanna stand again? He's like, no, he wants the whole thing. There you go. All the munch. Oh, you want you want you want another one? Okay, here we go. Was that good? My hand is so wet. <laughs> I should put this away. Gonna... Oh, come on. Here, lick my hand and don't look at- don't look at where the snacks go. Nope, he sees the snacks. Just stream on a weekend morning sometime after I get my um, scooters. Mo is a whip keen feed. Oh my goodness. He is. He is the best. I love him so much. He screams constantly, but I love him. Classic Ziggy licking my hand time. You're definitely just licking the sweat off my hands and not actually giving any treat residue. I hope you know that. Oh. What are you doing? Can I hold you? Oh, he's purring. Mello is smart. He knows that when I leave for a certain hour anymore, it means there's a good chance he gets whipped cream. <laughs> so he waits for the, by the garage door and screams. Yeah, that's so funny. Nope, you're done. Oh, get your booty off camera. Here, if I put these right here, where he, where you can see them, I'll just try and open it. Put the cup down to go do anything. He tries to self service. <laughs> teasing you. I'm just teasing you, aren't I? Oh, don't lick it. No, oh, he's rubbing his chin on it. Ziggy. Tell you have to go to work, fun hang out for a bit. Um, oh, retail hell. I hope you I hope you have a good day at work. Um, thank you so much for hanging out. You take care too. And Ziggy says bye. That's his paw waving. <laughs> no, he's just looking at my hand more. You gonna bite me? Are you biting my little thumb? Ziggy has really been wanting to like go outside a lot because we have a, a leash and harness for him. And so we'll take him into the backyard to like run around. Not really run around, but like he'll walk around and explore and sniff everything and try and eat all the plants. Um, and he's really been wanting to go out um, lately. I, it's like, I can't take you out today, Ziggy. It's 100 degrees out, and I am not willing to put up with that for you, unfortunately. Even though you probably really like the warm. I do not. This is the best part about the L-shaped desk, is that I now have a whole section just for Ziggy. <laughs> Hey, 
Are you gonna eat my box? Please don't eat my box. Do you want in the box? No? Okay. He's just rubbing his face on a box. Well, thank you, Mooney, um, for the redeem. I hadn't, I hadn't actually seen Ziggy in a while, so that it was. I'm glad we got to go get him. Like I said, I, I I slept in this morning, and then I was like, oh, I need to eat, and then I need to stream. I didn't, I didn't have time to go get my cuddles from Ziggy yet. Oh, now he's just gonna lay right next to me and take a bath. Now I really have cat hair all over me. He's been shedding um, because I think it's just that time of the year where he kind of gets rid of his winter coat. and So there's just a lot of hair. He normally doesn't shed too bad though, thankfully. Ziggy, you are so cute. Ziggy, are you looking at my string? Because please don't. <laughs> you cannot have the string. Another row done. Yeah, I like the, the brown and the white next to each other. That's pretty nice. How long is this getting? I don't even know how wide I made this. I just kind of cast it on a bunch of stitches. All right, so it's getting kind of long. Yeah, it's pretty big actually. I'm hoping maybe I'll just like throw it over a couch or something when I'm done with it, but I don't know. Ziggy, do you wanna come lay on it while I'm working on it? No, he does not. <laughs> I still wish I knew what the stitch marker was for. I had to have put it on for a reason. But I don't know what the reason is. I should just take it off. Because it stresses me out every time I go by it. I'm like, why is this here? But then if I take it off and remember, will I regret it?
Ziggy. He's leaving. He's gone. <laughs> you sound like me. <laughs> Does that happen a lot with you too? <laughs> Random half notes sometimes don't make sense later. Yeah. I've actually written down pattern notes before that I'm like, if anybody else looked at this, they would absolutely not be able to comprehend this, even the slightest. And I can only half understand it because I'm the one that wrote it. Once put a note in my fandom terms list of <laughs> fave question mark. <laughs> Does not help one bit to Google fave anime. <laughs> yeah, gotta be a little more specific than that, huh? I'm trying to get better at that though. I always, um, recently I'm like, okay, only write this down if it'll make sense to me in the future also. Or like write it in a proper way. Okay, I'm taking the stitch marker off. But look, it's a cute little sheep. And now it's gone. This is the question of Facebook. <laughs> Took a solid week before one of my friends figured out it was Faye from a uh, magical raising project. Wow, someone actually figured it out though. That's great. And then the second you figure it out, it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Shot in the dark. <laughs> yep. Does anyone have any fun weekend plans? And fun can include staying home and doing nothing. Because that's usually what I do for fun. I'm not really doing anything this weekend, I don't think. Just gonna take it easy. Might go on a walk if the weather gets less horrible. Ooh, you're gonna stream tomorrow? Nice. What are you gonna play? Are you gonna play something? Um, debating if you wanna do anything this weekend. Catching up on chores. Ooh, six laundry baskets. Oh, I was gonna do laundry today, and I did not. So I guess I'm doing laundry tomorrow. <laughs> I can start it while I'm working, though. Final Fantasy 7, PS4, nice. What time do you think you're gonna stream? I know you'll be working, I'm sorry, mom. Sometime after 5 p.m., cool. I will I will make sure to try and, and come hang out for a little bit. see some of that Final Fantasy in action. Decide if it's something I'm willing to get hooked on to. Gives you time to finish your shift, have to remember before getting on. Yep, that makes sense. 
Uh, whenever I stream with my mom, it's kind of the same way. She gets off work at, at four, then that way we have time to eat and then we can stream around five, which I'll definitely probably be doing again sometime. Um, we'll have to play Fall Guys again sometime. And if we line it up, maybe I can read you this time. a bit on Monday already. Oh, if you just had to watch the VOD, uh, popping at the 42 minute mark. Um, forgot there was an install disc, oh no. <laughs> so did you just have to like stop and install something in the middle of stream? Hard stream, grab the game disc. <laughs> it's not the data disc. Oh no. Oh no. Are you planning on ever doing um, art streams? Maybe with question marks, yeah. No, that'd be super cool if you did. I know I've been trying to balance like making and gaming also. It's like gaming's easier and more fun to stream, but also I feel like making makes sense and it's easier to like connect with actual making community when you're actually doing the making community stuff. <laughs> look up to see if there's any uh news from sculpt about production oh reduced production right now hasn't to do new sculpts um chant oh not be able to restock the color yeah that's pretty much a problem with everything isn't it nowadays there was a while that it's like yarn colors are just like nope Literally everything is just harder right now. I do Copic stuff on stream. Ooh, digital isn't refined enough to be functional. I was just be really bad in practice on stream. But I know that's also very stressful. I, I can't imagine doing something I was bad at on stream. I mean, I play games that I'm bad at, but like that's almost entertaining. But can you imagine if I was sitting here being bad at knitting? I'd be like, that would stress me out. I'd just be like, like learning how to knit on stream sounds impossible. I think it'd be super fun to teach someone to knit sometime on stream though. Make someone else do it. <laughs> Different between bad games and learning skills. Yeah, for sure. I just love that there's so much of a community of people that are both makers and crafters and artists and everything that also play video games. Cause that's like absolutely the kind of people I wanna, you know, hang out with and chill with, you know? Cause going back and forth between things like Minecraft and knitting is exactly my life. So when other people also play games and, and craft, it's just, it's more relatable. And honestly, artist alleys and anime conventions are the best place to, to meet people like that. It's where we've made a lot of our friends. <laughs> I 
And so trying to convince me um, to make up streams. Ooh. Sailor Moon Collection, Anime Collection. Lisa Frank eyeshadow palette. Hell yeah. I-35 Icy Pastel eyeshadow palette. Oh, just getting dusty. That'd be really fun. I would watch a makeup stream. Oh, yeah. That would be hard. Yeah. Now that I think about it, that would be very, very hard. Because I, I, I'm like, here, I've got my mirror right here. This is the mirror that I use, and I'm like, literally like, it'd be kind of hard to stream. <laughs> I guess you could just maybe consider getting contacts. Although then you don't want to get your makeup in your contacts. I'm not very good even with a magnifying mirror. Oh, yeah. That is truly a struggle. I have glasses since there were two. Legit terrified of contacts. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I, I've had glasses since second grade, and I'm very attached to my glasses. I also don't like how I look without glasses. Um, I did try contacts before, and I, I mean, it's fine. And like, I tried Cosmic contacts first, and those are definitely harder to put in and take out. Um, but even I got, I got used to the the cosplay stuff. But I don't know. I, just, I would rather wear glasses. <laughs> You're not me without your glasses. Yeah, I'm very glad that you can relate. And everyone's like, get LASIK. I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> Then I would just have to wear fake glasses, and that's no fun. Pay a bunch of money just to have to wear fake glasses doesn't seem worth it to me. Watch three people get lazy in the past two years. Just looked uncomfortable. <laughs> How often they had to use, oh, had to use a bunch of eye drops while healing. Mm, yeah. I have one friend that did it and she swears by it and she loves it. And she's super happy. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to. Eye drops don't bother me though. Um, I use eye drops usually at conventions when I'm like staying up until 2 a.m. partying and then have to booth at 7 a.m. the next day. Uh, I even had to take one of them back for an appointment uh, when I wasn't quite right. Ooh, yeah, that's stressful. Yeah, I've heard they have to, like, touch you up after a couple of years. It's like, oh, gotta go get my eyes lasered again. It's like, oh, that that sucks. I mean, buying glasses is also a pain. I just got new glasses for the first time in, like, five years. And it's like, with how bad my prescription is, it's always just, like, stupid expensive. Because it's like, oh, you need to get the super fancy material lenses if you don't want them to be this thick. And I'm like... I'll have to do that, thank you. <laughs> and then just like pay $300 after insurance. It's not fun. But they're cute. I like glasses. I think glasses are super cute. And I've also just had them for so long that it's like any any of the downsides or things people complain about glasses, like laying in them or like watching TV. Like, I don't know, I've just gotten used to it. And because I have to get the super fancy lenses, they're also the ones that like are kind of strong. Like I got totally smacked in the face with a volleyball the other day when I was playing volleyball and it's just like, it's fine. I'm used to this. This happens all the time. <laughs> I've never actually broken a lens or anything, so... Back when I had metal frames, got hit with a soccer ball during physical ed, my glasses literally, oh no. That sucks. Yeah, that's not fun. I 
actually need to take these glasses back in sometime and have them do the the heat thing because they don't stay up on my face well enough. I need them to like hook the backs behind my ears a little more. Nurses 2 hasn't just been the back into place for me. <laughs> so mom said, screw it, let's go home. Yeah, that's what I would have done too. Like, nope, I'm I'm out of here. I wonder what the temperature's actually gotten to. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. Great. Love that. I do I do think it's kind of funny that I it's ninety-nine degrees outside and I'm just sitting here knitting a blanket. <laughs> The joys of AC. white is left. A little bit. The color's after white. Ooh, got a fun minty teal color after the white. I don't remember what is in this. Maybe a darker teal, a green, orange. I'm just gonna shove that back in there. Oh, in case anyone hasn't seen my yarn tubs, check these out. They're covered in cute stickers. Cats and yarn, roller skating raccoon, Totoro, and Jolteon from Atomic. Then I have a second one that is also covered in stickers. I love these tubs so much. I have a third one, which is good because I, it's not covered in stickers yet, but I know I'm gonna get more stickers that I'll have need somewhere to put. Thank you. 
This white sparkly yarn is really pretty on this stitch. Just has such a nice texture. It's like, I don't know, it feels very like snowy, wintry. Nurse too hasn't it? Just, uh, I don't know why I read that message like it seemed new. I think something else flashed on my screen. I'm like, oh, new message? And it's just like that. No, I've read that one. <laughs> There's so much multitasking and brain power that goes into streaming that I think people don't realize. It's just like, oh, like just like constantly like looking at different things, make sure nothing's borked while also trying to do a thing and be at least semi-entertaining. Which I definitely don't think I am, but people always tell me they like watching me knit. At least like family and stuff. And I know my mom will just like stare at me while I'm knitting and I'm like everything okay? And she's like, yeah, I just like watching you knit. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm constantly looking at the camera when I stream, only because my cam is usually the same direction as your who you on. Oh, where the chat is, yeah. Um, I think that helps though. I think it's good to have the chat be be close to where the, the camera is so that you're like, you feel like you're talking to to the, the actual people instead of just like, yes, I'm responding, <laughs> you know. So yeah, that's kind of what I've done with my uh, my iPad is right below my my camera. So although I'm, right now I'm looking over here a little bit more because I have it up um, on my monitor also. I think it's this Twitch notification that's bugging me, saying animated emotes can be disabled in settings. Let me cancel that. Yeah, there we go. You guys can all use animated emotes however much you want. I won't stop you. That is a nice feature though, because I imagine it gets overwhelming at times, especially if some of them get really flashy. Oh, I love your emote. Oh, it's so cute. Hmm. <laughs> Angry twenty, Angry T twenty six. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Send a whole bunch of them. They'll, they'll, they should all come up. Okay, here I can show you my my one emote that I hastily drew on my iPad. There we go. It's a bunch of floating little me's. Anger twenty t twenty six with the default pref prefix. Yeah, I got pausey too, which I, I think it's fine. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the uh, the floating emote thing that I have from from Stream Elements. I don't love my bangs. Probably doesn't help that I also just woke up and showered like an hour ago, and so now my hair is like too clean. And my hair gets is is very clean. It's just like very fluffy and flowy. It doesn't really stay in place. Time is it? 218? I think I might call it at an hour and a half because I'm getting a little hungry again.
but I do want to, maybe I'll knit until I get to the, the next color, once I finish knitting all this white. Although I don't know how long that's going to take. We'll just see. I'm not very good at streaming for extended periods of time. After about two hours, I'm like, okay. <laughs> my brain, it's just, my introvert battery only, it, it's, it, I don't know. I just, I get like mentally drained after a very short period of time. I'll never forget the time though. It was at Nebraska on, on Saturday of Nebraska. On. And so it was super busy and we had so many sales and so many customers. And as soon as we were done, I went out to dinner with some friends and I was, my, my face and my emotions just got stuck in customer service mode. And so we're sitting there in Denny's dressed all stupid as we are. And I'm just sitting there like, someone says something to me. I'm like, that's awesome. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm broken. <laughs> and after not socializing for a year and a half because of COVID and everything, it, it's, it's gotten worse. My battery has just gotten so tiny that it's like, every time I do something social, I'm just like, all right, I'm done now. <laughs> I am glad that I'm getting more comfortable streaming though. Um, and streaming twice yesterday and today has been has been pretty nice. I've had fun. I haven't been too stressed. I wasn't even stressed to hit the start streaming button today. So I'm getting better. I really do, at least I'm hoping, it's it's a skill that I'll be able to, you know, build up over time. And that's what I've heard from other people too, is that you'll it'll get easier. Which is good. Oh yeah, we can totally go until I, I hit the new color. I just realized I think I noticed what what was flashing on the screen that made me think it was a new chat. I think it's when the music like peaks because I've got a little little bars of the audio levels. And when the music like starts a new song or something, it like jumps. Seen out of like the corner of my eye and I'm just like, what? I don't know how I'm gonna decide when this blanket will be done. I don't know, that's that's probably not true. I'll probably just stop when I finish this pre-caked yarn of randomness. If it seems big enough at that point. Because I guess I want it longer than it is wide. Which I'm not sure it's at yet, so. But maybe the, the time I'm through with this cake. I don't know, just have to play it by ear. Now it's on top of the yarn.
I just turned on um, the other day. I was messing around in OBS, and there was there's a little panel for like stats, and it shows um, like my frame rate and like dropped frames and stuff. That's kind of interesting to look at. Everything seems good. Zero percent dropped frames. CPU usage two point five percent. Which I mean, my computer's not really doing much besides streaming right now, so that's good. Oh, here it is. Here's our new color. I think this is a very angry Tanuki themed teal blue color. <laughs> Finish up this row, and then I think I will call it for the day. All oh, this blue is so pretty with white. Oh, also my back is starting to hurt from sitting normal. <laughs> my body's so used to sitting in stupid ways that when I stream and try to sit like somewhat proper, it's just like, ouch. Uh-oh, Ziggy's screaming. Wonder what his problem is. Ziggy! Ziggy! Squeamin. Come here. Come jump on my lap. Crappy yes. Come here. <gasps> Hi. You gonna hug you gonna cuddle? <gasps> oh you're gonna cuddle on stream. What a good boy. <gasps> oh you are the goodest boy. I wish you wouldn't dig your claws into my knee, but it's it's okay. It's it's worth it. Ziggy, you are a good kitty. You can't really see him all that well with the uh the back black dresser in the in the background. Ziggy. <laughs> I never thought he would actually jump up and lay on me while streaming. I guess it's because I'm knitting and not playing a game or anything. And so he's like, oh, cuddle time? Well, now that I have to sit at this weird angle for the cat's benefit, you can admire all of my plushies. I love my blooper the most, I think. But that's not fair to every, I love them all, but I love blooper a lot. Ziggy, ow. Whenever he lays on my knee, he like digs his claws into it and it's just like, please don't. 
It hurts. Okay, he's laying down. Oh, he's leaving. He's gone. That's all the longer he usually cuddles for. He'll jump up, lay on me for a little bit, and then just leave, like, two minutes later. Ziggy, go lay in my pile of plushies. He's done that before. He's laid right in the middle of the pile of plushies, and then he looks just like one of them. <laughs> Expert camouflage. Oh, he's gonna go eat you, Kiko. Oh, we got to another color already. That blue didn't last very long. Ooh, this is like a... It's like a black twisted with a gray. I remember this yarn. I haven't used this yarn in so long. That's why it's in here. This is gonna be really pretty against the white. Ziggy, are you gonna eat my flake fake plant? No? Okay. I'm gonna go lay on my other desk. Oh, he's mad that my curtain is closed. Because I've got a little spot for him right here um, that he can lay in and look out the window normally. Because I'll usually have the curtain open for him. Um, but when I'm streaming, I shut it just for the light, light reasons. And so now he's like eyeballing it, wishing he could look outside. <laughs> very soon, Ziggy, very soon. done with this row. Right, there we are. I started at about the brown right about here. So it doesn't look like much, but because it's so wide, I think we did pretty good. go. Alright, well now we just have to find someone to raid. And also thank you everyone that has hung out today. I, I really appreciate it. Um, you made this a really fun stream, so I'm glad I had um, people to keep me company while I was knitting today. Who is live? So happy. Oh no, so don't play the audio Twitch. Thank you, Mom. Okay, I've got a friend named Candlehearts. They are very, very fun pastel pink sort of aesthetic. I know they do art, um, but they are currently playing Splatoon 2, which sounds very fun to watch. So are we, I think we are going to go raid them, give them a hello. So yes. Oh, let me make sure I open their thing first so that I am actually involved. All right. Thank you everyone for hanging out. Um, it's been great. Have a good day. Bye. <gasps> Love you, Kim. I need to remember to press the stop streaming button. <laughs>